But it was just, just my, my imagination. imagination once again. <laughs> Run away with me. There you go. It was just, just my imagination. Running away with me. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here. And welcome to Afternoon's Delight. Man, oh man, guys. Um. Awesome episode uh, directed by Brian T, man. Uh, Brian T actually directed this episode and uh, pretty awesome uh, to always see him come back and, um, and, and come back to Chicago Med and, and direct, man. I don't know when we'll ever see Ethan and April on screen ever again on Med. Um, we had a nice wedding, a nice send off with him uh, last season, but uh Hopefully, hopefully we get one down the line. Hopefully we do get another one down the line. But uh, it's great to see Brian T be there. I think there was some like some rumors that Brian T was there uh, with uh, Colin. Colin, the, the actor who played Colin, was there too. So pretty cool stuff, man. But let's get into this part because this was a very emotional ending to Chicago Med tonight. Um, one of the most fantastic moments I think I've ever seen on this show uh, was the end of the episode. Um, very sweet stuff, man. They it it was a really good job. It was a really good job that they did with this last scene. So let, let let's go over how it went. So it was a Sharon Goodwin's birthday, um, and also her grandson's birthday. They're the birthday twins, so they they actually were born on the same day. And uh, like I said, they were celebrating uh, Sharon's birthday at the house. And it was the first time where Sharon actually introduced her date uh mr dr dennis washington um to the rest of the family her kids and so because dr charles uh was kind of you know talking about it you know uh what was was she going to introduce and she still thought it was a little bit early but she decided to just go on ahead and do it suck the suck the suck the bullet on this one go ahead and do it and also there was bert and we know bert has been battling this dementia and it got even worse, uh, as we saw here. So, late in the episode, um, he went through a whole breakdown. Um, he just broke down, man. Uh, he was going upstairs. He acted like it was his house, right? So, he was going upstairs to take a rest. And him not realizing that, like, dude, you don't live there no more. His kids had to remind him and take him back downstairs. And then he just snapped. He broke a vase or whatever, something like that. And uh, he just sort of snapped. And what I, one of the coolest things that I love what Sharon did to calm him down and make a situation that was, and everybody understood the situation. Like nobody was like trying to snap back at Bert because they knew he was going through this thing with dementia. But they was just they needed to settle him down though. So they got him on the couch. His kids got him on the couch, and basically, uh, Goodwin sung him a song from The Temptations. And it was just a beautiful moment when it, because the, the kids sung it and Bert sung it. it. It was amazing, bro. Uh, and it calmed him down because he started singing with him. And he started to finally realize, like, this is not my house. I don't, I don't live here. And you feel for the guy because he wasn't, he wasn't really trying to just cause a ruckus for no reason. But he, you know, it was just one of those things where he had no control of the situation because he forgot. That he, you know, he's not married to Sharon no more. But Sharon knows that she always has that connection to him. And that's why Sharon, you know, after talking to Dr. Charles about it, she says she's going to caretake for him. You know, I mean, even though she's one of the busiest, probably one of the busiest people in Chicago, but she's going to, you know, she's going to, uh, you know, take care of him. Also, Maggie was there, too. I forgot to mention that Maggie was there in the background as well. It was good that she came. But, uh, yeah, man, it, it was tough. The only thing that I left with in this scene that I was still kind of wondering about was uh, Dennis. What was was Dennis? What was his feelings on this? Now, him being a doctor, I knew he understood the situation. He knows the condition that Burton's in as well. But I, I was wondering for a second, like, how did he feel? Because, you know, he, he kind of feel like the awkward dude in the situation, be, just being there. And, you know, it, it was it was kind of weird. So. But I'm glad that Dennis definitely, you know, kind of understood the situation and, you know, just let it play out and 
thank God Sharon just knew how to calm him down. That was the biggest thing for me was that Sharon knew how to calm him down. But that was a great performance from uh, the actor Greg Gregory Allen Williams, who plays Bert, by the way. Um, that was an amazing performance by him, man. Um, yeah, it, it was sad, though. You, you know, it's not going to get any better for him, man. And it, it's... It's sad to see, bro. It's it really is. It, it, it was a sad scene, but it was also a very good scene. It was a very good scene. Um, I had to lead off with this one, y'all, because I was just like that. That was that was sad, man. But uh, give me out also on this scene, man. I think it was glorious the way they did it, man. I could tell Brian T had a lot of influence on how this scene was directed, man. Uh, he did a good job, man. But go ahead and get this video like, share, subscribe. I think we're gonna talk about. Dr. Archer's date with uh, Margo next. Uh, they had another little date. I think this might have been their dinner date, but I'm not sure, man. But go ahead and give this video a like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. After news, the like.